Hi guys, uh, in this video I will show you how to use before and after annotations uh, in our project. But first of all, uh, let's, let's fix this warning we have here uh, on our project. And we have this warning because uh, our JRE system library is old one. Uh, so to make it go away, to make it disappear, let's just uh, open our POM XML file and here under a uh, maven uh, compiler plugin here let's just after version let's let's add configuration under configuration source uh, do we have it yep source and since I'm using Java 1.8, I type 1.8 here, and if your Java is 1.7, then just do 1.7. And after source, target, and also Java version. So now when we save, and when we right-click on our project, Maven update project, it should go away. Yep. You see now now here I see Java is E1.8 and there is no more warning here. Now because we have same steps in our two methods, uh, let's export them in a separate method and use testng annotation for that. Uh, so first of all let's create a method called uh, let's call it method setup. So public void method setup and let's export first of all let's create our web driver variable here and then driver x equals new firefox driver let's paste it there and the system property uh, also will go to this method. S and let's fix this method. Uh, now in this, in second method, we don't need this anymore. Let's remove it. Uh, also, we have wrong command here because we open in LinkedIn. Let's fix openlinkedin.com. So we have method setup. And let's create method teardown. So also make it public. Public void method teardown. And here we're gonna have just driver quit. So we don't need it here anymore. Let's make it nice again. Okay, we have two methods. New, two new methods, method setup where we're gonna create our driver and method teardown where we're gonna shut down our driver and two test methods. So we don't have to use this code in each of our tests anymore, but in order for testng to know that this method should, should be executed before our test methods and this method should be executed after our test methods, Let's use uh, testng annotations. Uh, so let's open our Chrome and let's go to this page, testng.org documentation, and scroll down to paragraph number two, annotations. So here we can see a bunch of different annotations, uh, before suite, after suite, before test, after test. Um, what I suggest, since we want to uh, start our uh, start our driver before method, uh, and we call them methods also, so let's just use before method and after method annotations. So for method setup, just add annotation before method. Uh, 
also it doesn't know yet where to get it so hover over and import org testng annotations we already have testng library uh, as a dependency in our maven project so we just need to import it in our test and same here at after method and also let's hover over import after method or test and annotations let's save and let's run our test ng right click on our test ng xml run as test ng suite and it's working so it goes first here it starts firefox and then it runs our method dice open test pass so yeah basically the firefox window was behind our uh, eclipse window so we didn't see it but yeah test passed and since we have only one test here we excluded second so only one test was executed but now um, let's actually move this second method into separate class uh, so we have dice here uh, well, whatever just right click on this come that dice uh, package new class and let's call it second test second test and in our first test let's just cut this test method and paste it here in the second test uh, so driver is highlighted because it doesn't know where to get it now in first method let's just save it as is right now with this error but now so we have drivers driver set up and driver shut down in our test method we don't have it here but instead of just copying the same here let's go to our source main java folder uh, first let's create new package uh, so it's gonna be com dice dot base let's call it base and we're gonna have the base base classes here and so now here uh, in this package let's create our new class and let's call it base test finish and in base test just uh, go to our first step method and cut all this stuff the driver setup before method and after method just cut it from here and paste it into our base test and save it now we have base test but we have errors in our first te test class let's just format it so it looks nicer and i don't remember if i told you how to do it before so basically just Control shift f and it's gonna the eclipse gonna format your code uh, with the eclipse format but you can actually change it and if you want uh, try uh, try to google uh, how to format your code how to change formatting of your code in your specific eclipse version uh, okay so now uh, what we need to do in our tests uh, since we have our before and after uh, method setups in our base test let's go to our first test and here where's the where we have the class name let's just type extend extends base test and uh, hover over base test and import your base test so you see here come that dice that base that's where my base test is located I just imported it it still uh, shows or maybe it's not let's save yeah it still showed the error the driver highlighted because the driver is not available uh, why is not available uh, web driver driver let's make it protected and let's actually make all this method in this class protected so only only classes that extend this base test will be able to use the methods and variables from this base test so we saved it now now we don't don't need to have a driver here because 
uh, our first test already extends base test and the web driver variable already created there uh, so to automatically fix all the imports you can click the the next combinations uh, next combination not not click push next next combination of buttons control shift o and it will, it will automatically remove all unused imports and add all the imports that you are missing so we did it for our first test and let's just copy this extends base test let's go to our second test which is still broken and paste it here so our second test second test extends base test also let's save it and all the errors disappeared so now let's let's run it again right click on test ng xml uh, by the way uh, we, we cannot run it yet we need to add the second test here uh, okay so methods ex excludes we don't we don't have this method anymore in our first test so we can just delete this part and now we just need to add our second test so let's copy first test let's paste it here and let's just change the name so it's going to be second test and come dot dice dot second test let's save it and let's run our test ng here are firefox window for dice so first test executed dice open test passed and now second test for linkedin will be executed done and now one more thing i wanted to do let's go to our base test and let's just add few few comments uh, so for method setup let's just add system out print line and let's just add comment so uh, method setup and same for our teardown method let's do method teardown let's save so and i just wanted to do it so we can see in our uh, console uh, when we rerun our test again you see method setup here it is method setup then uh, all the logs for creating Giko driver for starting Firefox then when we go to our first test when this uh, line of code will be executed well, actually it's already executed I didn't notice here our Firefox and LinkedIn executed also both tests passed and now here in console we can see method setup dice opened method tear down again method setup uh, in our from our test ng base test linked in open test passed method tear down so now anytime we want to create new test class we don't need to create a uh, driver separately for it if new test class will extend our base test like here it's gonna automatically use uh, uh, method setup and method tear down from here so less code maintenance in future and that's it for now for this video